Hi, this is Andy Teach, host of Andy's Awesome Adventures, and welcome to Venice, Italy. <laughs> We're about to take our mandatory gondola ride in Venice, Italy. All right, we are taking our canal ride, our gondola ride. So we're starting on the Grand Canal, and we're gonna do some smaller canals as well. It's about 9.30 in the morning. It was 80 euros total for two of us. In the nighttime, it is more expensive, probably 100 euros. A lot of times you'll share a ride. We would just happen to be lucky and get a private ride. It's about 40 minutes, no, 30 minutes. Ciao. Buongiorno, buongiorno. I think that's all the Italian I know. So they have one oar. And they wear black pants, striped shirt, and a hat is optional. <laughs> Here, long building uh, here on the right, uh, it is the Palazzo delle Fabbriche Nove, designed by the architect Sansovino. It's a 500 years old one, the main courthouse of Venice. Oh, this is the, the main, main courthouse of Venice. of Venice, all right. 500 years old. As are many of the buildings here on the Grand Canal. And I see the famous Rialto Bridge up ahead. The Alto was being built in only three years, between 1588 and 1591. There are 12 shops, 12 stores that were at the beginning being built on the bridge to build bigger Rialto Street Market area. So the Rialto Bridge is the most photographed bridge in Venice, about 400 years old. And at one point it was the only bridge that crossed the Grand Canal. We are now turning to one of the smaller canals. Three kilometers, about 30 miles uh, of a small narrow canal like this. They divide the same city of Venice into 118 small islands. Oh. Every time you cross a bridge, you pass from one of these islands to the other one. 422 bridges uh, all together in the city, 422. Wow. By the way, I would not recommend going snorkeling in this water. <laughs> Hello, fellow gondola riders. Carlito! Veneti! Good morning! Okay, let me And you can see that each gondola has its own unique design. I like ours though, it's very royal feeling. Buongiorno. I don't know I think him yelling that's like the horn. <laughs> this is an opera house. Opera? The original house of Marco Polo was destroyed by fire. Uh. Oh. You have to get a gondola with a gondola driver that explains you this. <laughs> <laughs> he was an explorer, a merchant, uh, mm -hmm. about 30 years of his life traveling yes. around Asia. Also working as ambassador for Emperor Chan at that time. Uh -huh. Ciao. Ciao to the other uh. YouTuber. How many kids do you have? Four. Four. Four children, wow. Four, so the television no more belong to me. <laughs> <laughs> You're too young to have four children. Eh, gracias. <laughs> so uh, were you born and raised in Venice? Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. I do. At the moment, uh, all of us can do the drivers. 
Oh, okay. Oh. There's no restriction about this. So the test uh, to become gondola driver is right. open to everybody. Oh. At the moment, we are all from Venice because we are probably better drivers. Yeah. <laughs> but living here is the it's unique Venice. It's the only place where to practice the gondola is here. Uh -huh. That's why we are the only one able to pass the driving test. Uh -huh. Right side here it is Santa Maria dei Miracoli Church. Beautiful. Between 1481 1488, all marble decorated. Mm. Wow. So, we always thought that the gondoliers oh, sing, but a lot of them don't sing, right? In Las Vegas. Yes, Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> the Venetian in Las Vegas. Been there many times, yes. <laughs> it's the tradition of the television, in the movies, yeah. uh, in the commercial. Uh, right. Maybe in the, I, I, I don't know, but uh, I suppose maybe in the past when they didn't talk uh, foreign languages, it uh, mm -hmm. was oh. easier to, s to sing, sing. Uh, <laughs> to stop uh, the, ca the question of, uh, of uh -huh. the customer. <laughs> yeah. So what I like uh, as we are doing uh, mm -hmm. is uh, to answer your question, uh, I already point you something, but uh, it's nice. Uh, I, I really like uh, when people uh, in, are interested about the city and they ask me about what they see or what they don't understand here. Mm -hmm. Well, yes, we... It's another reality, totally another reality. Exactly. So this is the real Venice, the little side canals. Grazie. Yeah. Grazie. Grazie, signore. Grazie. We are talking about the ride on the way. Okay. He told me there's a candle arriving. Uh-huh. Opposite direction of me. Oh, okay. Yes, there it is. Yeah, but so far. Is, is this rush hour traffic? <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, I always choose uh, the best for me to drive and uh -huh. the best for you as customers. So I always choose a canas uh, where there's not too much traffic. Yes, very nice. That the best architecture ever I've ever seen is Italian, <laughs> Italy, Venice. Oh my God! How in the world? It's like to travel in the past, uh, visit Venice in general. Italy. Yes. Yeah. Well, yesterday we went inside the um, Saint Mark's Basilica. Yes. Sir. Which is be gorgeous, beautiful. Yes. And then we went to the uh, Duge's Palace. Yeah. That was amazing. Yeah. Yes. Amazing. Beautiful. It's. Uh, I always tell my customer that the, the Doge Palace is the best way to understand uh, about the history of Venice. Yeah. Because uh, Venice uh, was not uh, a big country. Hmm. It was a small one. They were never interested in uh, to conquer territories to become wider. Mm -hmm. They just uh, were interested in to have best the best commerce, the best money. <laughs> Yes. Uh, but uh, the only way to understand this is visiting the Doge Palace. He was uh, just uh, uh, re representing the Republic of Venice for four years. Four years, okay. Just representing without power. The power of, of the city uh, was, uh, was in the hand of the Parliament of the Republic of Venice. Well, it's always been a Republic governed by the richest families of merchants uh, having their own business here. And uh, so always be the government deciding about everything. And the Doge was just representing mm. the Republic. Four years was elected inside the parliament between uh, the richest families of merchants. The Republic of Venice lasted for more than 11 centuries. Wow. From 672, when they elected the, the first Doge, they founded the first government of Venice, till 1797, when Napoleon Bonaparte uh, conquered the city of Venice. He was the first able to conquer the city of Venice. Wow. Is there ever accident <laughs> in the gondola? Uh, happened, yes. Why yeah. Not? practice the gondola right. for like uh, one year, uh, sometimes two years, so th then, uh, then uh, we, we start to do this job. Okay. The, the city of Venice that rules everything about the gondolas and the gondola drivers. Okay. Do you have to buy any kind of insurance though in case of accident? Like car insurance? Ah, yes, like car, yes, car insurance? Yes, 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 obviously, yes. yes. And the, the, the insurance uh, uh, 
guarantee us uh, just if we have the driving test. Okay. Hey, it's... Because uh, people live here. At the bottom floor, nobody, nobody lives. Nobody lives. The bottom floor was everywhere being built as close as possible to the level of the water uh -huh. to easier pass from the boats to the houses or from the houses to the boats. Oh. Bottom floor was never been used for living because wet and too much close to the water. Always people prefer to live upstairs at the higher floors. Yeah. Okay. How high have the water levels been here? A normal high tide corresponds to the green mark you see in every part of the wall. The green six mark. hours level of the water rise up, six hours goes down. Okay. Difference is about two, three feet, mm -hmm. one meter between high and low tide. Okay. If you look on the right side mm -hmm. uh, after the bridge, there's a, a white, a small white brick. Mm -hmm. That yes. brick, Genio Civile, corresponds uh -huh. to one meter over the average level of the sea. Okay. Uh, first of April at night, uh, reach one meter and thirty centimeters, so one foot higher than the, that uh, brick. And the 40% of the city was underwater. Ciao, grazie. 40%? 40% of the city was underwater. What year, what year was that? Last month, oh. April. Oh, wow. Because, uh, because of the global warming, uh -huh. in Italy oh. six the, the global warming, Italy, Europe, I don't know, United States, if uh, Trump say no. Yeah, we have some issues. Yeah. So, we, we noticed the difference uh, of the, about the level of the tide, then year uh, after year. It's already 20 years I'm doing this. Uh, mm. uh, and you see? It's one foot and a half higher minimum than oh. 20 years ago. Mm. So all these buildings are probably, what, four, four or five hundred years old? At least, uh, yes. At least uh, four or five hundred mm. years old. Numero de telefono, Simone. Cosa? Numero de telefono, tu puoi torgi o ti? Che si è scritto in tabea. Vabbè, che c'è un numero di telefono, di una guida, di un lavoro prenotato, una roba del genere. What tower is that? Santi Apostoli Bell Tower. Every church in Venice, we have 108 churches. Mm -hmm. Every church has its own bell tower. Okay. Still uh, playing the hours and half an hours. <laughs> a lot of bells ringing. <laughs> yes, that's beautiful. When it's 12 o'clock, it's a concert. Do you know, do you know, do you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That looks like the Grand Canal. And the ambulance mm, now oh. passing past. Uh, oh. Everything moved by boat in the city. Yes. So police, uh, firearms, ambulances, uh, oh. way to transport supplies and materials. Uh, no cars at all, no wheels, uh, just boats. Approaching the Pissarro Palace, where we're staying. And next door is Pedoro Museum. It's the first time I've ever been right next door to a museum, and unfortunately, we just didn't have the time to see the museum. But it's something I would do on my next trip to Venice. So, our gondola ride is coming to an end, but it's been very enjoyable. It's a great way to see Venice, especially some of the smaller canals. So from Venice, Arrivederci! This is Venice, baby! That is the Grand Canal.
интересно. Hi, this is Andy Teach, host of Andy's Awesome Adventures, and welcome to Venice, Italy. This is Venice, baby. That is the Grand Canal. When you think of Venice, you think of gondolas and boats gliding up and down Venice's famous canals. But there is another way of seeing Venice, walking. In fact, you just have to walk two steps out of the Santa Lucia train station and you already see the grandeur of the Grand Canal and the beautiful Chiesa di San Simeone Piccolo. Here is the train station. Some of the best advice I received was just to walk around Venice without a map. Get lost and enjoy the sights. The first stop is of course Piazza San Marco or St. Mark's Square and you don't need a map. Just ask anyone along the way and they'll point you in the right direction. Perhaps the main highlight of St. Mark's Square is St. Mark's Basilica dedicated to the city's patron saint. The first building here dates to about 832 AD, but what we see here today was mostly done in the 11th century, although repairs continued into the 16th century. It features a combination of Gothic, Romantic, and Byzantine architecture. Make sure you visit the interior, it's stunning. Next is the imposing Campanile or Bell Tower, which is the Bell Tower of St. Mark's Basilica. It stands 323 feet tall and it's one of the city's most recognizable landmarks. Originally built in the 9th century, the current version was rebuilt in 1912 after the original tower collapsed in 1902. We took the elevator to the top for some fantastic views of Venice. The Torre del Orologio is a Renaissance bell tower. It's also known as St. Mark's Clock Tower or the Moore's Clock Tower. The clock was built from 1496 to 1499. The two bronze figures ring the bells hourly. The rest of St. Mark's Square features cafes, restaurants, shops, and museums. Just around the corner is the Doge's Palace, or in Italian, Palazzo Ducale. It's a palace built in Venetian Gothic style. The palace was the residence of the Doge of Venice, the supreme authority of the former Venetian Republic. It was founded in 1340 and extended and modified in the following centuries. It became a museum in 1923. We visited the palace and it was definitely one of the highlights of Venice. When you venture just outside the square, there's a lot to see from the Riva degli Schiavoni, which is the waterfront promenade. Here's the Hotel Daniele, which was featured in the James Bond film Moonraker. San Giorgio Maggiore, or St. George's Island, is one of the islands of Venice and it's worth a visit. From the bell tower, you can get a great view of Doge's Palace and St. Mark's Campanile. In 1630, the Venetian Senate promised to build the Santa Maria della Salute in honor of the Virgin Mary if she would free the city from the plague, which had killed a third of the population. After the epidemic had subsided, the Senate kept its promise and construction of the church soon started. It was finished in 1687. This is an equestrian statue of Victor Emmanuel II, the first king of a unified Italy in 1861. On either side of the monument is a woman and her winged lion. On this side is a woman dressed in royal garb and a roaring lion with its claws upon two closed books.
The Bridge of Sighs extends from Doge's Palace. It was built in 1600 and legend has it that the view from the Bridge of Sighs was the last view that prisoners had of beautiful Venice before they were imprisoned, so they reportedly let out a sigh before taken to their cells. Alright, that tower looks slanted to me. Perhaps due to an earthquake? Actually, the bell tower started to lean as soon as they started building it. We then walked from St. Mark's Square and found a hidden gem, a small shop where the owner produces beautiful masks for Carnival. So it's Maggi? Magia di Carnevale. Magia di Carnevale. Si. That is the name of the store we were in. These are all handmade decorations for Carnival. And you've probably seen these masks um. sometimes in New Orleans, but we are here in Venice, Italy. Beautiful. And this woman makes them all by hand. What is your name? Maria Rita. Maria okay. Rita. Okay. And look at this wall over here. I just purchased one. And if I had more room in my luggage, I'd get some of the bigger ones, but I got a small one. But these are uh, beautiful. Handmade, either paper mache or ceramic. All different types of masks. And we are located not far from the Grand Canal, not far from St. Mark's Square. All right, enough of the tour. I think I have to pay for my mask now. Now, I don't know what street we're on, but the number is 4518. The Chiesa di San Zaccaria is a former monastic church and was completed in 1515. It features late Gothic and Renaissance styles. It was the church for the elite in Venice. When you walk around Venice, you get to see a lot of the small side canals and can always find a bridge to cross over to the other side. At night, there's a different feel in Venice as it's a lot quieter and as we found out, even easier to get lost because at 11 p.m. there's a lot less people around to ask for directions. We ended up walking 45 minutes out of our way, but thankfully the Vaporettos were still running. The Chiesa di San Moise is a Baroque-style Roman Catholic church that is dedicated to Moses. Its facade was completed in 1668. The Rialto Bridge was the first bridge to cross the Grand Canal and it's the most photographed. The present stone bridge was completed in 1591. Well, that's the walking tour of Venice. I hope you enjoyed it.